We are ready now for Cigar Box Guitar Lesson Number 3 and a recap of what we've learned so far in 1 and 2. In 1, remember, we learned how to mark our, our uh, fretboard here so we can identify the notes. And we also learned how to slide up and down the strings to start really making music with our guitar. We should have found some songs and, and we should be having lots of fun by now. Now's our next step and that's how to use our fingers, either do picking uh, with our fingers or with the guitar pick. And we'll look at some of that and go through several rhythms today to really start to practice on that. And then coming up, we'll learn how to do some uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. And then at that point in time, you've got the basics now then to really start to learn how to play and really start to play the cigar box guitars. So let's get started with picking. So with the three string guitar, like what we have tuned to G, D, G, you'll use your three fingers, thumb and three fingers, and you'll just do it in a pattern. And there's various patterns and that's what we'll go through here. With the guitar pick, same kind of thing, only you're just picking on the strings. So let's first learn with our fingers. Then I'll pull out the cookie tin resonator over here and we'll do it with the pick as well. So the first rhythm is just to play the three strings. The low pitch string, which is actually the upper string here, that's G. The middle string, D. The high pitch string, which is really the lower one as far as in this relation on the guitar. And that's a G string as well. So just play a one, two, three, one, two, three. It's sort of a waltz type of a rhythm when you do the one, two, three thing. And just get used to doing that. After you've done that for quite a while, it will get boring and then you'll want to try to do some other things as well. So let's just do the that pattern with uh, by playing on the open, which is this. And then on the fifth fret, so on your markings here, this would be your first fret, no mark, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth and the seventh fret. So we're just gonna play open, five, seven. And just do that over and over again to get used and get that muscle memory working into your fingers. Another pattern is, is to go lower, middle, high, and those are by pitches, middle. So just, Let's try this rhythm where we go low pitch, high pitch, middle pitch, high pitch. This has more of a like a one and two and one and two and type rhythm. And those are just three to get started with. And so uh, just you'll want to play those rhythms as much as you can if you choose to do the finger picking. Now, when you get tired of just doing open, five, seven, there's other rhythms you could do. You can do other combinations on here as well. Maybe like an open, four, five. Maybe you do 
completely different pattern like this. And for any of those riff songs that you sort of found last time, you can try to play those using these finger combinations. Some will work out, some won't, but that's all right. You're just really learning how to use your fingers to do the picking and get that muscle memory working in your fingers. So Twinkle Twinkle is still one of the best ways to learn those patterns. Let's try an example here. And just as you practice that, you'll start to sound really, really good at it. And people will think that you really know how to play that cigar box guitar. This is the Cookie 10 Resonator, set up the same as the other one in that the tuning is the same. G, D, G. It's a different style of a guitar because I have the resonator down here. And this is being a metal box, tin box, as opposed to the wooden box from the other cigar box guitar, or even my electric one over here on this side. I'll be playing this with a glass slide. This is a glass slide that I just made, cut it off from a uh, wine bottle. So let's listen how this one works as well. So again with the pick, the pick is pretty easy. Just hold it between your thumb and your forefinger, figure out a, a, a grip that really that you like, and you can play with the pointy end down here. So again, we'll do the same patterns like one, two, three, one, two, three, and just do that over and over again. The other one where we went G, D, G, D, and that would be the uh, the low pitch, middle, high pitch, middle. Okay, this is where we do the low pitch, high pitch, middle, high. So let's try the twinkle twinkle pattern again and this time we will use our multiple rhythms that we've learned uh, to play the song. And by changing those rhythms, you can make the song sound very interesting and it mixes it up for the listener. So let's practice our picking this week, whether you choose to do it with your finger, a guitar pick, or both. And let's get that going. And then the next time we come on, we'll start to learn how to do some pull-offs and hammer-ons and then things can get very interesting and very fun with the cigar box guitar. <laughs>